Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing the Amorden Dolly Track Slider for DSLR cameras, camcorders, your GoPro, or really any other camera you have that has an attachment on the bottom that will fit one of these little screws. Point and shoots, most of them have them as well. A um, little bit about this, it's 40 inches long, you can see here. Um, it has these feet on the side. They're super easy to install. They just pop on the bottom and then screw on. And then you can adjust the, the little legs individually for height so that you can have it level. And you can really put it in virtually any terrain um, and keep a nice level smooth shot. You've got your track dolly slider right here that slides very smoothly. It has four bearings in here that slide very smoothly up and down the track. You have yourself a bubble level right here, so you know that you're level. And you've also got this knob here that you can adjust to tighten it down for transport, or if you don't want the camera moving anywhere. Um, it comes with the, the bigger screw attachment here. This is for a um, traditional tripod head which I would highly recommend using with it. I tried to use it without a tripod head and you know it worked alright but I would really recommend a tripod head that you can just attach directly on there. This will give you a, an additional um, very smooth pan tilt as well. Not to mention a quick release for your camera which will make all the difference in the world. It does come with this reducer which will attach to um, your DSLR, point-and-shoot, GoPro connectors, anything like that. And you just twist this puppy on there. But once you choose that route, you're very limited. Um, once you put the camera on there and twist it on, number one, it's very awkward to install. And once you get it on there, it's once it's tightened, it's pointing really only in one direction. And so that becomes very difficult to use and difficult to manage, so I would recommend a tripod head of some sort. Um, you also get two mini Allen wrenches. One will adjust or actually remove the top if you need to clear out one of the bearings or something under there. Um, and the bottom, the little smaller one, will actually remove the bottom pieces here that can be attached to a tripod. And since we're down here, you can see the bottom has the bigger screw that you can twist directly onto a tripod, so this is tripod mountable, which is actually where I got most of my shots. I'll have some demo shots at the end of this video to show you um, what it looks like. Um, keep in mind that I was using a tripod head with the camera mounted on it, so um, it wasn't just the camera directly on this as it comes. So overall I think this is a fantastic product. I mean it glides very easily. It does take a little getting a getting the hang of. Um, one thing I would recommend, you just attach like a string to this or even use uh, the strap from your camera and use that to pull it. You can get a much steadier even pull or smooth shot that kind of moves more at a constant pace as opposed to trying to manually hold the camera and slide it like this. But again when you do that you kind of lose the pan tilt if you're using a tripod head on it. So anyways here's the carrying case it comes with. Packs up nice and neat, goes inside there. You have this right here for your feet to go into. And everything packs up nice, very transportable, um, durable, high quality. Five out of five stars without a doubt. I would recommend this for anyone. Uh, I've included links below to get this product. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching.